I'm driving along to work. And I'm thinking lately about culture. How many different cultures there are in the world. How we define a culture. How a culture defines us. We can define a culture by nationality, region of the world that it comes from. Like there's a Chinese culture, there's a British culture, French culture, German culture, American culture, you can go on and on. Cultures come with their own codes, their own language, their own way of dressing, their own food, their own customs. You may identify with a culture that comes from your ancestry. Maybe you're part Irish, so you want to identify with the Irish or the Scottish or the Native American part of yourself, so you investigate more about that culture. There's cultures that are associated with music. There's a country western culture. There's hip hop culture. There's goth culture. There's pop culture. Each have their own their own codes, their own way of thinking. You can even go smaller than that and say that there's microcultures, there's tribes, there's cliques groups within groups. It's kind of the way of socially organizing ourselves that's been going on for a long time. We gravitate towards those kind of structures. And even smaller than that, you can say that there's nanocultures, there's cliques and friends within friends, you know, groups that have their own little in-jokes and you know, and language and sometimes just the raise of an eyebrow means something within a group that wouldn't mean the same thing outside of that. We organize ourselves like that, as I was saying. So what we're lacking, however, is an overarching culture, a human culture, a culture we can all take a piece of or, or feel it partly invested in something that identifies us as a species. Something positive besides, you know, the, the conflict that we have with one another, the war, you know, and the, and the intolerance that we show towards one another sometimes. There's got to be something that unites us. Something that is common to all of us. You know, our, our love of life something hopeful, something uniting, that bonds us beyond those cultures that we identify with, which are fine. In fact, I think we're going to just have to identify with some culture or another. But what we really are lacking is a human culture. What would that look like? It's up to us to define it. But as the world becomes smaller, so to speak, in that we're touching each other's lives more, communicating more, becoming involved more in situations around the world, we can look at each other in a different way. We can see beyond the dress, the language, the religion, the politics, the attitudes, and see that we're all flesh and blood human beings with basic, basic emotional needs, basic emotional wants, basic physical needs, and we can be there for one another in ways that maybe we haven't been before. I would love to see a human culture develop. Something that we can set aside some of our differences and be a part of. Doesn't mean we give that up. 
but it means that we transcend defining ourselves strictly by a culture. Just some thoughts for the morning. Have a great day. Namaste. Aho. Amen. Look up.